Hey everybody, Egan here from Get Found Madison. Today I want to talk to you about dog paintings. More specifically, how we got this page on SplendidBeast.com to rank number one in the U.S. for the phrase dog paintings, which is searched over 4,000 times a month. So let's talk about how we did it and how you can do the same for your business. So when I took the business over, the first thing I did was see if cursory SEO has been done, had been done. I can always tell when I look at a website if someone's done any SEO because I do this simple search. I go to Google and I do S-I-T-E colon and I put in the URL. Now, when I first did this over a year ago when I bought the business, this was not optimized this way. The home page title just said Splendid Beast because that's the name of the business. A lot of businesses do that, but they weren't optimizing for a phrase that people search. So the first thing I did was I did some keyword research and I found out what are people Googling. So I got this data from Google AdWords Keyword Planner and I thought about how do people maybe search dog painting, cat painting, pet portrait, pet art, things like that. And then I found out how many people a month actually search those phrases. And then I tried to map them out to actual pages on the site. A number of these were not in existence a year ago, so I created them and that's what we're going to talk about. So pet portraits we decided to target with the home page, but we needed a page to target the dog paintings. Now, a couple things about some free tools I use here. There's a Chrome extension called Keywords Everywhere. You can set this up in your Chrome browser and it goes right up here and it can help you see actual search volume. You can look at US or international right here in Google. I'll show you how it works. So I've got mine set up and I Google pet paintings like this. And now I can see right at the top this phrase gets 4,400 searches a month in the U.S. This is gold. The only issue was we didn't have a page targeting it. Another way I found this information using a free tool called Google Search Console. You just have to verify to show you own your website and Google will show you your own SEO data. So when I went through this a year ago, I looked for dog painting because that dog paintings because that was one of the highest search phrases. And when I saw what I saw in here when I looked was this position said 11. There are 10 organic results on every Google search page, or on most of them, on the first page. If you're not on the first page, I know you're not in the phone book and people aren't finding you. So I wanted to get to the first page, and the thing I really paid attention to, these three columns here come from Keywords Everywhere, which I just showed you. This right here, this monthly volume, is from Google Ads, and it's pulling that data in, and I was seeing impressions much lower than that, and we still do because we just started ranking number one recently for this. But this number used to be very discrepant. An impression is when someone actually sees the link to your website like this, and then a click is when someone actually clicks to your site. So my impressions were much lower than the supposed number of searches per month for the phrase, and it was easy to tell why, because I was not on page one, I was over here on page two when people searched. So we created a new page in WordPress, and I'll show you. I went into WordPress pages, I added a new one, and I built out a new one. So here's what the dog painting page I made looks like, right? And you can see it has examples of dog paintings. A couple things to call out. The URL at the top is splendidbeast.com slash dog painting, separated by a hyphen, using no little words like the, uh, of, etc. It's just plain and simple. So Google knows exactly what this page is about. Another thing I'd like to show you is one of the images. If we actually look at the image, it's got its own URL at the top, and it's custom dog oil painting field Splendid Beast. I described what the image was, but I also wanted to show this is what it is so I could tell Google, if you're wondering what this JPEG is, that's what it is, and I did that for all the others as well. Okay, so I went through and laid out all these images in my builder, and we went to Yoast SEO, yet another invaluable free tool. It's a plugin for WordPress. And I put in dog painting since that's what this page is going to target. I've already mapped that out in my keyword research here. I said, here's the phrases, here's how often they're searched for month, and then here's what pages are going to target them. Notice dog painting, dog portrait, dog art. Those could all be targeted by the same page because they're related. But cat painting, if someone's looking for cat paintings, they're looking for something different. So we've got a separate page we made for that as well. So we put in dog paintings, and then I went into the the editor, and again, I didn't just leave it as the default, I changed it to dog paintings and custom dog portraits, dog art by Splendid Beast, and I wrote up a description, which is what shows up, see if I can find it, back here, right down here for this page, right? So 
I want to, this is almost like an advertisement, so I want to take it very seriously before anybody comes to the page or comes to the website, this is what they see. So this is like my free SEO ad, and I want to write it very carefully. So that's what I'm doing here, right? I'll also note that at the top, people may or may not read this, and they often don't from what we've seen with the analytics, but I wanted to say a little bit about here and mention that we do. You're looking to commission a painting of your dog or dogs? Just so Google sees that right away and knows what this is. This is the header. It includes it as well. So we're not spamming. We're not just using the phrase over and over again. You can see we're using different phrases for it, like a painting of your dog and so on. Google can understand that, and we want to write for humans and for search engines, right? And you'll notice in Yoast, it tells us exactly how to optimize for this phrase. Now, we didn't do every little piece. There's still pieces that are red and orange that we could do better. But we got as many as we could green, and we optimized the site or this page for this phrase as best we could. And within a few months, we were ranking at the top. Now, to be honest, this was something of a surprise. We didn't know we would rank this fast, and I'll show you why. Here's a paid SEO tool we use called Ahrefs. I can put in a keyword like dog paintings. It'll give me its own data and estimates about it. But what I want to see are the competitive metrics. So supposing everyone else did what I just did and they built a page that's, that was optimized for dog paintings, what makes the difference? Well, Google's looking at how many links do you have to your website. And when I looked at the data, I was a little scared uh, based on what some of the competitors had. So there's fineartamerica.com slash art slash painting slash dog. And what I see right here, this tool can show me how many links from other websites do they have to this page. And this one has a monster amount of links. 899 from 21 different domains or websites. In Splendid Beast, we only have two. We've, we've all, we just launched this page recently, so we haven't been able to reach out and earn enough links to really compete with something like that. It's going to take us years to get that many links if we ever do. But I think what happened here, and sometimes when you do the Google search, Fine Art America does show on top because Google will rejigger its results over time to just see how different ones perform. So let's take a look now if we do it again. Dog paintings. And again, I'm in, I go in Chrome, File, Incognito, because I don't want to see what I see. I don't want to see the personalized results. I want to see um, what other people see. So we have ads at the top. These are Google Shopping ads up here. If you, pay on the, if you click on them, people pay. This is a text ad right here, so this is a paid result. We used to run ads up here a year ago, but the idea was let's get to organic so we don't have to pay for those. Good. We're still showing up at the top. Another thing to note is we're in the images. See Dino Dog there? Girl with a pearl earring? This dog in the field, which we looked at earlier, and then the Beethoven looking one? Those are all from the page. Those are images that have been basically optimized for search. They show up in Google's image results and we've got the top organic result. And there's Fine Art America below us with their over 800 links, but it's not enough. And I suspect the reason is that our page, let's see if we can compare to their page, they probably both show exactly what people are looking for, which is why they're the top results on Google. But you can see on Fine Art America, it may or may, you know, it may not be as good of a user experience. It looks like these are obviously much cheaper uh, paintings that are not custom. They're just kind of little prints or whatever you can buy. And the user experience may not be quite as good as this one where you see nice large images you can scroll through. And then there's calls to action where you can select a template to get another painting of your dog. You can commission your own the way you want. So Google obviously owns Chrome and has Google Analytics and tools like that. So they're getting all kinds of data about what happens after someone clicks to the page, right? So they know maybe people are spending more time on Splendid Beast after they do this search and click to the site than on Fine Art America. So it's not just about links. It's not just about how well you can optimize in Yoast. It's overall, did you show the searcher what they wanted? And I think in this case, Splendid Beast did. So even with fewer links, we were able to rank. If you found this helpful and you can see how this would benefit your business, you'd like more information like this, I'm offering a digital marketing mastery class and you can sign up. Early bird registration ends this Wednesday, August 15th, but you can still sign up through August 22. So come join us. We'll have 12 more classes like this. And you can actually go to the landing page I'm going to link to to watch the first class and then we're going to have 12 more after that. So hope to see you there. would love to have you in digital marketing mastery. All right. Mm -hmm.